Hey you guys, it's Nathan, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and Affinity Publisher. I thought for a while that maybe I was going to be done making videos on these pieces of software because I feel that the challenge is trying to say, hey, here's 14 days of a free photo editing software, and then after that, you need to cough up $50, or sometimes they have sales, sometimes they have different promotionals, and then it's really a matter of do you love it and have you decided that you love it um, by the time you're getting ready to purchase them. So in my personal opinion, I think for the beginner, something like Photoscape X, which I just made a video teaching how to fix gaps and lines in Photoscape X. I've made tons of video because I feel it's the best free photo editing software. And for $40, you can get a little upgrade paid option to get a few more tools available to you. But Affinity, especially Affinity Photo, is something that has really intrigued me. And one thing that was really epic was the fact that they sent me an email. I had signed up for like their newsletters and different things. So I knew about their book that came out. I knew about different things in Affinity. But what was really interesting was the fact that they sent me an email saying, hey, we'd love for you to try this for 90 days. And I think that if you are subscribed to their newsletter, they'll send you that eventually. And then you have 90 days to really try out the software. Honestly, I wish I could just like give you guys the product keys, or I wish I could just say, hey, you guys, Affinity reached out to me and here's your free codes. Uh, but unfortunately, not at this moment. Um, but I would encourage you guys to try it out for those 14 days. Maybe you'll get to try it out for that full 90 days and see if it's something you really want and really enjoy. Nonetheless, I've already put in my keys and everything and it's um, all set up so I can test out all of these pieces of software so I can continue the trial, continue the trial, continue the trial. And we're going to see what these softwares have in store for us just to kind of run through how they work. So uh, let's begin uh, with this. So um, right here, this is Affinity Photos. And I've kind of messed with this different stuff. I've seen how this works and how it um, relates like Photoshop. So if we were to kind of begin with uh, opening a image here, let me see if I can find an image that might be fun to work with real quick. I kind of reorganized a bunch of my images and I'm really happy about that. So hopefully I can find something that looks halfway decent here. Um, what's a, what, what's kind of a fun image I could work with here, you guys? <laughs> ah, how about my favorite image from my wedding? I am uh, been married for now a year and a half and there's been ups and downs and some craziness along the way, but I uh, wouldn't trade that for the world. Um, being married has been one of the greatest blessings in my life and one of the most challenging things in my life's life as well. So um, let's look at how some of the edits here work. And I want to see how it um, cohesively like works with the other pieces of software as well. So I've ran all this stuff through in a recent video, but I didn't touch too much on this top row here. So we could look at some of that stuff. So let's look at some of it. Uh, we got help, which probably doesn't have too much going on there. You do have some different tutorials. What do they have for tutorials here? I know that they have a great, um, a great uh, tutorial library on YouTube, but we're looking at some stuff in here. It's like uh, canvas resizing, uh, metal compute, undo and redo history, UI overview, uh, yeah, what are these? Are these just simply images or what uh, kind of, uh, what kind of things could we look at? So it's like a six minute long video here. Uh, let's see. Let me take you through the user interface of Affinity Photo. And you know, it's someone who's gonna give you a straightforward walkthrough of how the software works. This is why I feel like a software that has a solid community around it and people who are upfront I think that's why so many people are going to go away from place from things like Photoscape X and like some of these other editors because things like Affinity, it's like, hey, fifty dollars and you're into this community, and you know you'll have other softwares you might want to pick up as well. But Affinity just makes so much sense for so many people who don't want to just go out and get Photoshop. So um, let's see what could we work with here. You know, there's some different like resizing tools and things like that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, locking ratios and things like that, custom ratios, you know, 
And, you know, it kind of just depends on what you're wanting to do here. So, like, there's different stuff you can do. All right, so um, let's see what we have on this top view here. We got some show grid. Nice. Uh, let's see. What all do they have? So we have the show grid. We don't, let's turn that off. Show ruler. Okay, showing ruler. Frequency, apply image, lighting. Uh, it's haze remover, plugin, haze remover. Okay, now obviously this image doesn't seem to have much haze in it, uh, but you know, they can try to remove different parts and stuff. It's interesting that the view would have a tool like that just kind of in there, unless if I was, oh, unless if I was in the wrong thing, I was in the filters. Okay, so uh, in here, views, custom toolbar whoa yeah there's some customization in here you guys oh man and text wow oh, okay so whoa can i do that on the side can i do that on the side okay i know it's kind of silly but this is kind of neat because then you can actually get the the names on the sides as well that's kind of nice um if you were trying to figure some stuff out so like enhancement um, selection, snapping, different stuff there. Is there a way to do that kind of on the side just for like people who are beginning uh, in some of this stuff? Toolbar, customize tools. Whoa, oh man. There's a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, that's, that's really neat. Like you get these like weird heart objects and stuff. Okay. Um, can I, um, Oh, okay, so this is all uh, moving stuff around. So, like, I can move that into here if I want to. And I can move them around if I wanted to. Okay. You can reset. You can have the number of columns go out. Okay. So, you could do, like, two or something like that. Okay. Nice. Cool. Um, that's really interesting. It's nice to see the customization in there. Uh-huh. The dock. Customized tool. I did that one. Uh, let's see. You have studio. Okay. Huh. Well, yeah, I really like it. I think it's really nice that they put all this stuff in here. And obviously, if you zoom over, you can, you know, read the different stuff. Um, nice. Well, good. Okay, so we have that stuff in there. Filters. So you have like a blur. So like average blur. Whoa, um, 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 okay, you guys, uh, that was a, it's pretty intense. Uh, give me my photo back. Um, maybe I accidentally hit something extra here. All right, so let's go with blur and go with average. Yeah, again, it does this like crazy problem. And there's only one filter, only one uh, layer here, so I don't know what it would be doing otherwise. Okay, all right, you guys, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice here. Uh, let's, uh, we'll see. May I had it selected something weird. Nope. Still doing that weird stuff. Okay. Uh, blur sharpen. High pass. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, was there something down here? Maybe I'm not looking at the whole screen. Hmm. Odd. Very strange. But yeah, it's messing around in software, and that's what you learn. <laughs> Some flipping stuff. Show characters, textiles, insert characters, line break. Yeah, interesting. Cool. All right, so that's nice uh, to be able to, you know, just mess in Affinity Photo for a little bit. Let's look at um, Affinity Publisher, kind of my first impressions of Affinity Publisher. Okay, so you have this. Don't lose power of any photo. Purchase it now. Oh, a uh, one-off payment. Yeah, that's their big push. Okay, take your images further. Uh, try uh, design it for free. Find out about the 1.8 update. Nice. Okay, so um, this is, with this being, oh, this is interesting. You can kind of click into these different things. Whoa interesting nice okay 
So we're going to hit this and we're going to select just a letter. Uh, so you have that and then you have the normal standard margins you'd see. Um, I would assume that inserting an image is going to be fairly simple, I would think. Here's some different, yeah, your assets, your stock images as well. Okay. Uh, nice. Table layer selection. So like, let's say this. Uh, let's say I just want to drag an image in. Okay. Or me onto the page. Okay, so you have that. Oh, okay, which is fine. That's what you would think of when you think of a project like this. Okay, the snapping feels fairly good. Um, nice. It'd be interesting to see what kind of templates they might have to go with um, and all of that as far as like text boxes and stuff. Okay, seems fairly natural. Okay. What do we got for some of the resizing stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go, Temp 12 point. Put it in, of course, I'm sure you can type in whatever you want. So 200, yeah, nice. And of course, uh, are they going to, they show the, the changes, of course, uh, instantaneously. And you can, ooh, I like the fact that you can favorite certain fonts. You can go to recent used favorites. Oh, you guys, very nicely done. I really like that. Strong emphasis, strong. Huh, interesting. Wow. A bunch of positioning stuff. You can do a percentage of slant. Ooh, that's fun. That's cool. Do some stretching out. Wow. Well, um, very nice. I think that's really cool. It'd be interesting to see me compare this to something like Publisher. Um, it would also be interesting to see how publisher files open in publisher uh, for affinity. That's neat. As far as I me hopping over to design, like how would this work? It's looking at the entire image. Like if I were to zoom in here on this image, can I still make like like different edits or something? Like yeah, that's like the selector brush, sure. Okay. Huh. Yeah. No. So like I can still go in and I can crop. Do I still have like access to I still have access for layers. Ooh. So like oh, let's say yeah, if I go into a filter, okay. <laughs> it's still doing that weird thing. I'll have to look into that. Um uh distort noise. Denoise, add noise. So like, you can change the intensity. It looks like it's still giving you free access to everything um, in here, which is really nice. I don't really think that's that's stellar. I think that's great that they're doing that. Um, and then as far as like export options, you can export PNG, JPEG, I like it that they show this up here. Um, nice. Yeah, and you just figure out what people want, and then you just export it out. I think that looks really good. PSD, yeah. Very nicely done. I think it's really good. Affinity could definitely give Adobe a run for their money in certain apps, maybe. Um, cool. Um, and then you're in Designer. This is neat because it's just like you're in everything. Uh, so like, let's exit out of, oh, hold on, can I exit out of the project? Nah. Okay. I think this is what it was. Okay, so we have Publisher again. Publisher is really interesting because it gives you so much, but I'm guessing that if you didn't have access to these different softwares, you just wouldn't have access to it because there's no way that you just 
um, you buy publisher and then you have access to everything because like right here I could go and I could drop the image in and I could edit uh, you know it'd be a little different okay let's get over here to photos yeah you can edit it exactly like if you were in in publisher um, so yeah you could pick up um, basically publisher would be the, like the key thing to pick up if you wanted to use more than one piece of software yeah that looks awesome so like but when I have photo opened um, let's see uh, cool hold on you guys wife's messaging over I think oh maybe not nice okay so yeah so it's something where you're not able to jump into those other softwares in like photo but in publisher you can let's jump into designer um I'm not sure exactly what I'm expecting in here because like uh, okay so we've got like a letter still looks like it's being built for like a printed object okay so like different objects in here this is like uh, different designs and like labels and templates and stuff this is interesting this would be like it looks like something that would be like the super like meme <laughs> meme thing to put in um, cuz yeah you can put um, oh you oh where to drop it in oh that's really fun I like that okay I think I'm just having fun at this point um, so yeah I'm gonna have to mess with this a whole lot more but 90 days to mess with it I think is so much better than something that's just 14 I think that that's what someone needs to have access to um, I know that affinity photo wouldn't just want to throw out 90 day access to everybody because then people could use like multiple email addresses or things or try to you know get it just time and time again 14 days makes sense but it would be really cool um, if there was a way for the, us to be able to just uh, offer you guys those 90 days because after that it's saying hey would you like to have access to this and I think that after 90 days of someone using a piece of software and enjoying it and seeing maybe an update during that time frame or something like that I think that if you experience the community I think that $50 makes it really simple it's a really um, easy way of entry and on different like Black Friday deals or things like that being able to get pick up the whole suite for like a hundred dollars or something I think it's awesome I think they should do more things like this so good on you affinity for uh, setting this up I think it's gonna be really helpful and let me know if you have a specific question or thing you, that you would like me to cover uh, in the software suite of affinity and maybe comparing it to Microsoft Office or to some Adobe products as well. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.